All right, so here we are on the iPhone. There's the home screen. So we'll click into my email here and uh, where I shared that Google Docs. There it is. So there's the that link there is to the form. So if I click that, it opens the browser up to the form. Uh, so you can see the f data entry there. If you look in the lower middle there, you see that button looks like an arrow. Click that and that brings a list and one of the choices is add to home screen. So when I click add to home screen, it lets you name the link. Uh, so we'll give this something meaningful. Uh, you want it fairly short. This name I give it might be too long. Um, animal health data entry is what I call it. So then when we do that, it makes it a link on the home screen there. So it, iPhone, if you hold it, you can move the icons. I'll put that into my cattle records um, list of icons there. Um, I'd had one other here. We'll delete it, clean it up. So there it is. Now we've got an animal health data entry link. So when I want to do a data entry, I click on that link and it, here it brings up a web form and I can enter an animal. So we'll go ahead and do that. So just to see how you work. So if we enter one that's a bull uh, and then give it a number. So this one's 001, date of treatment. So all we're really doing is putting links to web pages under a file folder on the iPhone. Um, I'm not sure how Droid differs. I've never had a Droid phone, but I'm sure there's a way to do this on a Droid phone as well, where you can uh, make some kind of folder with, with links to a to a web page. So. so as you see, the data entry is pretty simple. The form, the design of the form really helps, uh, you know, if you can use some of those those different tools in there. And then I hit it, hit done and it's submitted and it says thank you for your report. So there it is. So that's how we do a data entry form. Now I'll show you how to add a link uh, that would that will bring up the results. So essentially the spreadsheet, which they're a little bit harder to read on the iPhone, uh, but, but they can be uh, read if they need to. So essentially we go to Google, go into your account, um, and then look for Google Docs or Google um, Drive, whatever it's called. This one here is still called Google Docs. Um, and then once you get into there, will be a list of your, it wants me to download the app. Close out of that. There we go. Once you get in there, will be a list of all your Google Docs. Um, I had to actually scroll down quite a ways. If you don't have a thousand of them like I do, it'll be quite a bit easier to find. Um, so I had to scroll down here quite a ways to find the one we just added. Okay, here we are. So there's the spreadsheet for animal health records. So we'll click into that. There we are. We're now logged into it. And now, just like we did before, we'll just create a link to the home screen, give it a meaningful name. And then stick it in that folder. If I was actually going to do this and, and make a whole robust set of ones, I would create a folder inside that folder for um, for the spreadsheets themselves. So when you went into that folder, would be all your data entry forms because that's mostly what you're going to be doing using the phone, and then uh, another folder inside that with all the spreadsheet reports. So if you did need to pull a report while you're out in the field, you could. So there it is.